Hello everyone, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have another fall clothing haul. Today we have one from H&M. This was not even supposed to be a haul. I just went on the website, went a little bit crazy, and I thought I might as well share everything that I got with you guys. Um, I didn't get the most clothes that I've ever gotten in a haul. This is pretty much it, but everything that I got is killer. I love, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited to style everything that I got. So I'm gonna style things with you guys, show you how I would wear it. Um, and then also talk a little bit about it, talk about sizing, pricing, how it feels, um, and all that good stuff. And also, if you guys notice, I'm in a different room than I'm usually in, and that's because my bedroom, I kind of switched things around, which is where I usually film. And the space that I usually film in, I put my bed. So, I can no longer film in there. So that's why we were in my like dressing room today. Um, so if you guys want to see what that looks like, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you the current situation of my bedroom. So to start off, we're gonna talk about the sweater that I'm wearing today. It is a beautiful like caramel, kind of like chestnut color, um, cable knit sweater. And this is from The Conscious Line. Um, it has a turtleneck to it and the cuffs are kind of taken in as well. Um, I love the cable knit print too. I think it's just so beautiful. And then the back has a bit of a different print. Um, and a funny thing about this sweater, they actually sent me two. Um, I don't even know how that happened. I'm not sure if it was my fault or their fault, but the more the merrier, right? But yeah, colors like this are perfect for the fall time. Whenever I think of fall sweaters, I think of this, I think of creams, I think of browns. Um, and yeah, this is just like the ideal sweater, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it was also really, really affordable. I think it was like $29. I have it pulled up, just give me a second. So this was $29.99, which is a steal. And when I tell you guys, this is a heavy sweater. It's like really, really heavy. It's good quality. It's not the type of material that will snag easily. I've had sweaters before that you run into the door and like the whole sweater is falling apart. Like this is a good quality sweater. It's cozy. It's like everything I need in my life. Um, and I also paired it with a chain. I love layering chains with turtleneck sweaters. I feel like it just gives it a more dressy, kind of more edgy vibe. Um, so you guys will see that I do that a lot if you have watched my videos before. I love layering either dainty necklaces or like big chains with sweaters like this. I feel like it just gives something extra to look at, um, but I'm obsessed with this. And then I also paired this with some Korean trousers from Zara. Let me back you guys up so you can see what I'm talking about here. So as you can see, I paired the sweater with some just basic cream trousers. I love the contrast of like a darker sweater with a lighter cream trouser. And then I just put on some black heeled booties. This is just kind of like my dream combo for the fall time. It's simple. It doesn't take a whole lot of thought. Sweater, trousers, black booties, and you're just good to go. Um, and again, this color is just like everything that I need in my life and more obsessed with it. Um, I'm not sure if it comes in more colors, but if it does, I'm getting all of the colors because the sweater is literally perfect. And I'm actually considering keeping the second one just because I love it so much. Um, so definitely 10 out of 10 would recommend the sweater. Um, excuse me. So next up we have another sweater. And this one is from the Pringle of Scotland X H&M line. Um, at first, I did not like this collection, but the more I looked at it, the more I would go back to see the pieces, the more I fell in love with it, and I ended up picking up this piece here. There were a lot of like neon pieces that were very similar to this, and if you guys know me, I'm just not much of a neon girl. I'm not much of a color girl. I love to keep my wardrobe very neutral. So whenever I saw this, I instantly snatched it. I was like, this is the perfect combo between something different but also really neutral and I love it. I have not seen this specific print in so long. I feel like this is such like an old man print but I love it. Like I'm here for it. Um, also the quality of this guys is so so amazing. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Let me see what it says on the tag. Also this is from the H&M Conscious line. Um, it says shell exterior 64% recycled polyester, 80% from pre-consumer waste, and 20% from post-consumer waste. 
um, and I got this one in a size medium. So I styled the sweater with a high-waisted flare bottom pair of blue jeans from Zara and then again my black booties. I just kind of wanted to make this outfit a bit more casual and I really really like the sweater a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I also thought it was going to be a lot more itchy because the material upon like first feel does feel a bit itchy but once it's on it's actually really comfortable and also the neckline of this is like not a mock neck but it's not a crew neck either it's like kind of in the middle so it's really comfortable it feels good on and it's really really warm as well so if you're in a cold climate this sweater is going to be like so next up we have this very beautiful satin blouse I love pieces like this so much because they are so incredibly versatile. Like, you could dress this up and make it look like you're going to a five-star restaurant with some high-waisted trousers and some pointed toe heels and you're going to look killer. But you could also make it more casual, put it with some jeans and some black booties and, you know, just make it look an everyday shirt. So I really love that about this piece. And then also the back is opened here. It latches at the top and it also has a tie down here um, at the back. So this is the blouse on. I think it is so beautiful. I think it's so feminine and girly and I really do love it, but it was very, very difficult to get into, especially considering that I am all alone trying to put this thing on. Um, if you guys can see here, the buttons, they're very, very delicate and this does not stretch very far. So it is a mission to get this guy on. Um, other than that though, it's really beautiful. Also, this was not easy to put together by yourself. But if you do have someone helping you out, you're all set. But if you're alone, you're gonna have some trouble. So give yourself some time if you're getting ready to go somewhere. Um, so this is not the type of shirt that you just throw on and go out the door. Like you need to prepare. And this one actually comes in another color as well. This comes in like a sage green. Um, I was actually going back and forth between this one and the green one, but ultimately I chose this one because I feel like it's more versatile. I feel like it can go for more seasons. Um, but yeah, I think it's really beautiful. It's just not the easiest thing to get into. So we're gonna go from top to bottom on this. There is a lot to talk about. So first off, it has a beautiful mock neck style and then a zipper going down here with a big ring. So if you wanna be a bit more scandalous, you know, you can just like pull that down. Personally, I like to keep it concealed. So I'm zipping it up. <laughs> also, the fabric on this is pretty lightweight. It is not super, super heavy, which I think is a good thing. I had one last season that was really heavyweight and it was almost unbearable to wear and this one is really, really great. And then also down the side here, we have lines with the word Pringle. I think that makes it look a bit more sporty, which can be a good thing if you want to match this with some sneakers. So clearly we have a very high slit in the dress, which I feel is the statement of the entire thing. I had no idea, to be honest, that the slit in this dress went up this high or I probably wouldn't have bought it. I'm a very modest person and this is kind of a lot for me, but I feel like this would look so cool with a thigh high pair of like leather boots. That would look so cool. But if you are a more modest type of girl like me and you really do like this style, maybe put on a pair of like spandex underneath it just to make sure that nothing falls out. Although the dress does feel like super sturdy, it doesn't feel like anything's gonna, you know what I mean? Um, also, I styled this with my black booties, um, but again, ideally, I would love to style this with a pair of like thigh-high leather boots. I think that would be so cool, um, but I do really like it. The fit's great. It feels comfortable. It's not too hot. I love the zipper detailing that you can make it a bit more casual or a bit more scandalous if you want, um, and I think it's really pretty. I do like this dress. A bit scandalous for me. Um, but I do think it's really cool. They also have this in like a plain cream. So if you don't like the detailing along the arm, they also have like a plain cream one, which I think is also nice. All in all, I think it's cool, but it's just a little much for me because my whole leg is exposed. Next up, we have a puffer jacket. I had to jump on the trend. Um, and this was really, really affordable compared to a lot of them that I've been looking at. H&M also has like a ton. They have the really long ones, they have mid-length, and then they also have these short ones. I just grabbed this one in like a neutral tone because you guys know me, I'm a neutral girl and this will go with so much. Um, and I got this one in a size medium. Here is the puffer jacket on. I really, really like it. It's super comfortable. I probably won't get a ton of wear out of it because I am in Florida, <laughs> um, but I do think it's really cool. I love the tone of it. It's almost like more cool tone than warm tone, so I feel like grays would go really nice with this, but you can totally put it with like creams as well. You guys can see I have my cream dress on, um, but I really do like it. It has some nice pockets, and I'm gonna zip it up just to see what it looks like too. 
yeah so there it is zipped up it's just your standard um puffer jacket but it is less expensive than a lot of them that i've been seeing all of a sudden puffer jackets are like hundred dollars two hundred dollars this one's a great one for like 50 60 they also have again so many varieties so many colors so many different styles of them um that i feel like there's something for everyone if you're wanting to jump on like the puffer trend and i do think this one is like really cool and a really great option and last but not least i picked up this very loud printed dress now this is way out of my comfort zone for one i don't do dresses that often unless they're super casual um, and two, print is just not my vibe. And three, color is also not my vibe, even though this is more muted. Um, I have been loving the maxi dress trend for this season paired with a really high pair of boots. It doesn't have a structure, so it's very loose fitting. And I like that so I can eat as much as I want and not have to worry about my dress showing my food baby. <laughs> um, but I do think this is really beautiful. So we're gonna try it on and see what it looks like. So here's the last outfit. I'm actually in love with how I styled this. So these boots definitely give the dress like a more vintage vibe. And I think along with the neckline and the sleeves, this whole dress feels really vintage. And I love it. I love the print. And I know that's like crazy for me to say considering I never wear print. I love the print. I love the combo with the boots. And also, I think this bag here, this is like an old limited edition zara bag it looks kind of vintage-esque as well would look perfect with this outfit um and i love it so much it's comfortable it's breezy it's very very fall feeling and i think with all of the like more vintage elements it really makes this outfit so special um and I'm not sure if I mentioned I got this one in a size small as well. Those were all of the items that I picked up from H&M. I'm sorry again that it wasn't a very big haul, but I didn't go into it with the mindset of doing a haul. I was just buying things that I wanted for the fall and winter time. Um, but now we're going to head in to my bedroom because I'm going to show you guys the current situation and why I'm not filming in there and why I'm filming in this room instead. Um, so let's go head over there. All right, so we are in my bedroom now. If you guys watched my home tour, I had my bed here before. And the reason I moved it over here is because of the positioning of the vents in the fan. So both of the vents point down this way. And whenever the bed was here, we got no air. We got no fan. Like it was so hot at night. So I just picked the whole bed up, like moved all the stuff and had to move it over here because every night I was sweating. It was unbearable to sleep. And now it is just so much better. Um, I used to actually film kind of right here in this space and I don't have room to do it anymore unfortunately um, because the whole window is blocked and the lighting's just really weird in here. I don't have space to show things um, so I kind of had to just move everything around here. Um, I do like this positioning a lot better but it's just kind of unfortunate for filming. So yeah, that is the reason why I had to move everything um, but I kind of like everything now. It's really cute so I have like my perfumes, I have some magazines, magazine over there. I still need to figure out this whole situation. Um, I have my lavender on the bed. Um, over here I have some flowers. They're getting a little bit old though. Um, and then a vase. The room's not complete yet but we're getting there. So yeah that is the update. I told you guys I would keep you updated throughout vlogs and videos on home stuff because we just moved like a couple months ago so things are still changing. And yeah, so we have a lot of stuff coming up. There will be a ton of vlogs. I have a fall festival I'm going to in a week or two. So that'll be fun to vlog. I got to do some pumpkin carving, some more fall festivities. So there will be some vlogs coming for you guys. Um, I'm really excited for it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. So peace and love until then.